our job as maintainers is to read people and uh, see what is feasible, what isn't feasible, but listen to the users. If you don't listen to the users, you're going to end up with hate more than, and, and you're going to end up people not using your distro. Uh, this is not good. Mm -hmm. So I listen to the users, and even I listen to users who told me for a running uh, rate mirrors mm -hmm. was not coming out with a verbose upload because I had the the, ta the flag uh, no no verbose. Mm -hmm. I they were like, oh, I, I'm typing my password, but nothing's happening. I was like, because I told it not to be verbose because if it is verbose, it's going to include all the hashtag it comments in the Pacman mirror list. They were like, we don't care. Those are just ignored, right? Because they're hashtag. I was like, yeah. Mm. They were like, show us a, a verbose output. So I listened to the users, so I made it verbose. Uh, you have to listen to the users. Uh, sometimes you have to tell the user, I'm sorry, but that cannot be done. Unfortunately, sometimes it cannot be done. Sometimes the stupid. True. True. <laughs> uh, Look, I, I'm a sure lot of it... them can be sometimes. I, I think the problem... I. I think there is a point where you have to listen to the feed. This is the same on YouTube. It's the same with pretty much anything where other people are involved. I think you have to listen to the feedback. That is very important. Always yeah. listen to the feedback you're getting. But you also have to weigh that feedback against what they actually want. Because a lot of the time, people say they want one thing... But what they actually want is something completely different. Or you get a very small subset of people who say they want this thing, but most other people are fine with the way it is, or even prefer it to be something completely different. It's very difficult. I'm sure it's the exact same with the distro. It's very difficult to work out exactly what people are trying to say and what the general consensus for anything you're doing actually is. There's a, uh, I, I would agree because there, there are a, a users on the team mm. who made it to the team. Uh, for example, uh, one of the users uh, made it into the team because he is very good at security related issues. Mm. And he's, he's got the idea uh, that Zero Linux should, be a, uh, should include at least the minimum amount of security. Sure, sure. Uh, uh, I'm like, me as a person, don't care about security. Mm -hmm. I have nothing to hide. I, I, I have my Windows install is talk as it can be, telemetry and all. Uh, I'm like, Microsoft, you, wanna, you want to, to, to read what I'm typing? Go ahead. I'm not talking about my family. I'm not talking about religion or politics. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I'm just talking Linux. I'm talking Windows. I'm talking games. So I don't care if they collect telemetry. They know where I am. Just by having a smartphone, they already know everything about you. So uh, there's no sense in securing something if you already own a cell phone, a smartphone. Mm. By owning a smartphone, you already compromise your security, your anonymity or whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. So what's another system that's going to do that? <laughs> it's already done. If, only, if Apple has your information, but Apple is in cahoots with Google, is in cahoots with Microsoft, is in cahoots. So... They already know everything there is to know about you. If you have Windows, it's just you're already done. Mm -hmm. uh, so I told the guy, this is who how, the way I think. But some users, I agree, they care about their security. They they have certain ways to circumvent stuff. I was like, how about a compromise? Mm -hmm. I ship zero Linux with absolutely no security. Not absolutely no security. I mean the uh, the defaults of sure, Arch. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and then we we write a, a detailed thread guide on the forums showing users who care about security how to secure their system mm -hmm. instead of doing it by default because there might be some users like myself who hate anything related to security because it slows down their system, mm -hmm. it's more processes running on the background, it's more whatever. Uh, I don't even ship a firewall on my distro. Mm -hmm. You want a firewall? You can click a button in my tool simply because I want zero links to be as light as possible. Mm -hmm. And I achieved that. People keep coming to me telling me, how the hell did you make KDE behave so fast? How did... I've run Manjaro KDE. I've run 
Endeavor KDE. I run multiple other distros with KDE. There was there are slow AF on my computer, and they're talking about their old systems. I'm not mm -hmm. talking about uh, newer systems, but on my old system, your distro is faster than any other distro with KDE. I'm like, this is what you get if you don't enable a million services in the background for security, for firewall, for what is for that, and then you start adding stuff. You it's up to you. You shape it. This is the, the whole goal behind Zero X. So I'm like, uh, okay. So he agreed and he wrote a thread on the forum showing users how to secure their uh, their system. Uh, I it's, uh, no no use no other users uh, talked about security. They were mm -hmm. like, we're using Zero X and we're happy with it. Nobody uh, had a concern about security. Only he did. Mm -hmm. That's why his nickname is Secna. <laughs> So uh, he cares about security. Uh, okay, use the forums and show people how to do it. Uh, but sometimes users come to you. I want, uh, for example, I want uh, Plank. I don't want Latte Dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I cannot ship Plank because it hasn't been updated in ages, and it has this bug where it shows the plasma shell as a as a dock icon <laughs> randomly. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, <laughs> and it doesn't run on Wayland. So oh, for users yeah. who want to use Wayland, it doesn't work. It just has no Wayland code because they stopped developing it way before Wayland became a thing. On, uh, uh, looking at the Arch Wiki right now, on Wayland, it may fail with the following error. In Oh, you can yeah. run it on Wayland, but you need to force it to run uh, under X Wayland. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm like... Okay, I'm not going to ship that on Zero Linux. The Latte Dog just works on Wayland. Mm -hmm. Okay, sometimes on Latte for on Wayland it it runs in a window at the bottom. It a, they fixed that bug ages ago. But some users are using an older version. Um, I tried KSmooth Dog. This is I showed the users every all of that. I showed them here. I, I'm trying KSmooth Dog. Maybe I replaced Latte with KSmooth Dog. KSmooth Dog is more broken than than Plank. <laughs> so I'm like, here, I tried Cairodoc, because DT made a video about Cairodoc recently. <laughs> I don't know why. It's something that is at least 15, 20 years old, but uh, it doesn't work. Uh, so back to Latte we go. <laughs> so I showed oh, users God, every step of the thing, way. Isn't it? Cairodoc, yeah. And KSmooth Doc is a Qt based uh, doc, but it has no features whatsoever. Mm. You right click on an icon, it freezes. You click on an icon once, it doesn't launch. You have to click it multiple times to get it to launch. Jeez. So, uh, and it's got this shadow thing that breaks the look and um, doesn't work. I tried everything. I showed the users. I tried everything. Nothing works better than Latte. Sorry, I have to ship Latte. They were like, yeah, ship latte, keep what works. I'm like, you should have told me that from the get-go. Why did I try all these docs? <laughs> so sometimes, yeah, users can be, they don't know what happens because here's the thing with users. They don't know what's happening on the back end. Mm -hmm. On the back end, to, to them, they can see what the, what is on the front end. They mm -hmm. see well, how it looks. Oh, this looks good. This looks uh, better, uh, whatever. Ship this, ship that. Oh, yeah, but that's... That's a screen. You're sending me a screenshot from like uh, five years ago. I checked the code; it hasn't been updated since, so I cannot ship that on Zero Linux. So they have to understand the back end. If they don't understand the back end, there's no way you can convince them that what you're shipping is the right thing. Mm -hmm. So that's why I try my best to be as transparent uh, as possible. Mm 